can't believe they printed Makita upside down. Unbelievable. I think I've got this one upside down. G'day guys, welcome to another Makita review. This one, not a power tool. Doesn't have any batteries. I know, very surprising. That noise coming out on the video. I'll go up and show you what the noise is that I'm talking about. Don't ask me what it's doing, but it's another toy. So if you hear weird noises throughout the video, that's what it is. It's above my head. Now, let's have a look at this. I'm going to turn it upside down again. So this is the 16-piece D47307 Makita Hole Saw Kit. So in this kit, I'll tell you quickly what you get. Hole size wise, you get a 16 mil, 19 mil, 22, 25, 32, 35, 37, 44, 51, 57, 64, 68, and 76. Or in inches, I'll just wait for that very loud motorbike to go past. You'll get 5 eighths, 3 quarter, 7 eighths, 1 inch, 1 and a quarter, 1 and 3 eighths, 1 and 7 sixteenths, 1 and 3 quarter, 2 inch, 2 and a quarter, 2 and a half. 2 and 11 sixteenths and 3 inches. Now to drive those you'll get two separate mandrels here. You'll get this one which runs up until that one. So those four there run on this. Anything over 30 mil, which is the rest of them, runs on this system with the pins. If you know the one. So you screw it in. The pins will lock into holes. And once they have, you then just wind it up by hand and you're ready to go. Easy peasy. Has a bit of a wiggle to it, but don't worry about that. Those pins will drive that around, give it a bit of extra torque, and then fairly easy to undo. This is not what they call the easy exchange system. In that system, each hole saw has an extra sort of piece on the top. Very sort of similar looking to, to that bit. And it will clip into one of these, a bit like a, an impact driver, if you can't be bothered sort of doing that. <laughs> so if you use them every day and you're changing between a lot of them, it'd be handy, but I don't need that. So these particular hole saws are 38 millimeters deep, or that's about an inch and 7 sixteenths, I think. Now these will cut through metal and aluminium timber, plastic, that sort of thing. I wouldn't use them on stainless steel personally, I'd use tungsten ones for that, but it'll cut through just about everything else. They come in this nice little case, they come with an ejector spring as well. You put that over the drill bit. When you're drilling, it will hopefully push out the timber so that you don't have or metal or whatever, so you don't have it jammed in here. You tend to mostly use those for thin metal so if you break the drill bit or you want to change it, it's too dull, whatever, then there's a little grub screw in there, you just take that out, chuck a new drill bit in. Although they don't give you an Allen key for that, so you'll have to find your own Allen key. Also, if you want to change any of these to the Easy Change system, Makita do sell the adapters individually, so you can buy them like in a pack as well of like six or eight or something, and you just screw them in, and then, oh shit, they're sharp. And then you buy the Easy Change Pilot Mandrel Dealy and you just clip them on. Easy peasy. So if you find there's two that you want to switch between flat tack all day or something, you can just buy those, stick it on those two, and away you go. Quite a good system. And you will need a drill with a 13mm chuck to drive these. Also comes with a handy little guide here, which you're going to lose very quickly. Which tells you all the part numbers for all the different sizes of hole saws, up to 152mm I think it is. So if you ever need to order any, it's got all the part numbers. It's also got all the part numbers for the mandrels and the other sets of different ones. This is the biggest one, as far as I'm aware, that Makita do. They do another one that's a couple less than this. They, one that they call an electrician's, one that they call a plumber's, and this one's called a universal, which has all those sizes and a couple more. There's also a few smaller sets. So that's basically all that is. Am I going to show you how they work? Well, I don't know how easy it is to see. If you can hear drums, it's um, 
people across the road. So I've had this set now less than a week and I've just opened it up to do a couple of holes and the mandrel's rusty already if you can see that on the camera the lighting's not the best. So what I'm going to do here is drill a couple of holes in this Amora. It's an Australian hardwood, it's 32 millimeters thick. I'm going to drill a two inch hole and a one and a quarter inch hole. That's 32 millimeters and just over 50 millimeters. I'm doing that to test that those holes are the right size for what I need for a project that I'm doing at the moment. So what I'm going to do here is use this two inch one first and then we will see if it's still easy to get undone when we're finished. I'm drilling the hole with the Makita XPH07, the top of the line one, still at the moment. We'll see how it goes. I've got it on the lowest speed setting to begin with. Might pay to put the handle on it. Well, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. It's pretty hard wood to, to go through. I only cleared it that one time near the end there. So far so good. Now how hot is it? Can I get this undone by hand? So how hot is it? Pretty bloody hot. Can I get this undone by hand? Oh yeah, piece of cake. So that's good. Pass that test. But then how hard is it to get the timber out? It's always a pain with hole saws. Let's see if we take that right out. We can just unscrew the whole thing, although it is rather warm. X. Why am I doing this while it's stinking hot? Shit. Well, that's too hot to handle, so while I'm waiting for that to cool down, I will drill the other size hole I wanted to do. Now because this size hole saw isn't big enough to put the four holes in, they've just recessed two in the side there for the pins on the mandrel. Done. Done. Lost a bit of paint in the process. That's to be expected. Can we get it undone? Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Gee! Uh, don't grab it with your hand though. Very, very hot. My wife is like smacking herself on the head now, looking at me out the window. Can you dumb. So it's cooled down a bit now. Let's see how hard this is to get out. Oh, yeah. Too bad. Shouldn't do this with a drill, but I know. All good. Most of the paint missing off the inside now. What about the bigger one? Yes, gotcha. Sweet. Okay. Pass the test. Sweet. Oh, came out clean on the other side too. That's good. Very, very good. That's about that. It's a whole saw set and it works. Cheers. See you on the next one. Did I just do that? Cheesy. and cut. So that's a quick little video for you there just to show you what's inside that kit. That kit being the D47307 from Makita. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do so. Subscribe to Tools and Stuff. I've got some tools to give away soon. Yeah, do it. Cheers.